Hey fellow workers, my name is Kim Siever. Welcome back to my channel. Before I get into the message of my video, I just want to give a shout out to my newest monthly contributors. Jennifer Walker, Jonathan Lane, Jackie Marsh, Stephen Kedrine, and Paula Stein. If you'd like to become a monthly contributor, please tune in at the end of my video for more details. Now, on to the rest of my video. Recently, the Lethbridge City Council debated reducing public transit service during off-peak times because of low ridership during the pandemic. One rationalization for the recommendation brought to them by city administration is that because ridership is so low, fare revenue is down. See, this is the problem with how this city, and to be fair, plenty of other cities, view public transit. They think it should be revenue generating. They don't see it as a public service. No one, for example, would ever recommend that we charge admission rates on all city parks as a way to cover the cost of park maintenance because we see city parks as a public service. No one would ever recommend that we charge tolls on all city roads as a way to cover the cost of street sweeping, snow removal, and repairs, because we see city roads as a public service. No one would ever recommend charging victims of a house fire as a way to cover the cost of the fire department coming out to save their house, because we see the fire department as a public service, and so on. Yet for some reason, we have this idea that transit can't also be a public service. We think it has to be a cost recovery service. And so when there's a discrepancy between revenues and expenses, we increase fares, reduce service, or both. But then we complain that ridership is too low. Reducing services or raising fares are not ways to increase transit ridership. Transit, like visiting one's family doctor, should be free to the end user. Punishing transit users by demanding that they pay to use a public service is unfair. Especially when, for some people, it's their only transportation option. Thanks for watching. Thanks to all these subscribers and Patreon patrons who make this video possible. Please visit my website at kimseaver.ca. You can also follow me on social media. Just search for Kim Siever on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Tumblr, and LinkedIn. If you appreciate the videos I post here on YouTube, the news stories and opinion pieces I write on my news site, or the content I share on my other social media accounts, please become a monthly supporter at kimseaver.ca slash support. If you agree with the points I raise in my video, please give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below why. Please share my video and subscribe to my channel. Look forward to talking to you again soon. Solidarity.